Are you tired of spending countless hours sifting through an overwhelming sea of academic papers and articles for your literature reviews? Say goodbye to the tedious manual search and embrace the power of artificial intelligence. From advanced natural language processing algorithms to cutting-edge machine learning capabilities, these intelligent tools have been meticulously selected to cater to the needs of researchers, students, and academics alike. In this video, we present the six best free AI tools that will revolutionize your literature review process, saving you time, effort, and stress. Without further delay let's dive into, open your web browser and type Jenny AI. This will lead you to various links. Here you can see at the top the official link of this AI. The intro is given here which you can read. By clicking the first link, you will land on this page. So this is the official page of this free AI as you can see here. First we will log in in order to access it. For that I will be using my existing Gmail account. By just clicking you will get a chance to choose your account. Select your desired account which you want to use for this AI. Once you are done with this process, here is the final official page of this AI where we will be working. Firstly, click create a new document and here we will be typing our questions. Whatever the literature we are looking for, we will type a question to get literature around that. So, in my case, I am typing what are the factors that contribute in mathematics achievement and, and I ask this AI to find various relevant research and ask it to write the brief summary of those very papers. You are done with typing your question, then click start writing. By clicking, this AI will generate literature around your topic. Boom! Here you go, you can see that this AI has started generating text around our question. Now what you have to do is, you have to understand the process how this AI works. So, AI generate text step by step, you have to read the text thoroughly and click to accept the text, or you can ask for the alternative. See this AI is generating text automatically, and I am accepting the text by reading it. If there isn't any connection between the lines then I can click the alternative option which is just next to the accept option. So till now, I am just accepting whatever text it is giving here. Here I didn't want this line to be part of my literature therefore, I will click the alternative. So, I will click alternative and, see this has given alternative text, so you just have to read the text thoroughly and you have to accept the generated text. Here you can see it has cited different studies as well. This process will be continued till the end of our literature review. So, you can see that this is generating text, and I am reading through the text and accepting it and checking the connections between various lines. If I didn't see any connection, I am using the alternative text generation option. So, using this AI is really simple, you have to follow the same process to generate the literature or text around your topic of interest. Once you are done with this process, you can see at the end this AI has automatically generating references, you can see each reference carefully. This reference style has followed APA style, you can choose your desired style as per requirement of your paper or thesis work. If you want to access the cited studies, you just have to click here. And this will lead you to the website where this article has been published. So, here you can see this paper has been published at site and beside this you can find various other studies related to the topic. So, in this way you can access various articles if you want to read more about the cited studies in your literature review section.
In a nutshell, this free AI can be used to generate literature around your topic of interest by following the same steps. Besides, this gives an opportunity to access various academic papers related to the topic of your interest. In addition, you have chance to check the text for the relevancy of it with the previous text generated. If you found the text relevant to the previous once accepted or in case, you think it isn't relevant ask for alternative text. AI tool number 2. Open your web browser and type open read. Click the very first provided link. By clicking it will lead you to the official page of this AI, you can see the interference looks like this. Here we have two options the first is we can upload our academic paper which we want to learn or extract information. So for that we will follow this process. And the second method is to type our research paper title or our question. So I am looking around mathematics achievement. And then press enter. By pressing this will open various academic papers as you can see number of academic papers has been opened by this free AI tool. So let's explore more. I am opening the second paper by clicking you can see that this AI has opened the abstract of the existing paper. You can read it to get familiar with the key points. The second option is Paper Espresso. It gives entire summary of the paper. So by clicking here you can get this summary. The next option we have about questions and answers. By clicking here, we can ask various questions pertaining to this research paper. So here we have predefined questions. Let me use this question as it is about what are the highlights of this paper? Here you go. This AI has extract information about this paper. Here you can read these lines to be familiar with the paper. The second predefined question is about methods of the study. So, let me ask about the methods so wait for a while. So, here you go you can see that a quantitative research method has been used in this research. Likewise, another question is about the contribution of this paper. So here you can see that what this paper has contributed in the academy in this way you can read about its contribution. Likewise, you can type your question and the given space. In this way this AI can also be used for expediting your literature review sections. AI tool number 3. Type Consensus AI. And click the very first link. This will lead you to the official page of this free AI. Check it's the interface. Click Log In. From here you can choose your Facebook account or Gmail account to sign in. I am using my Gmail account details. Boom! And you are in now. Now let's explore it further. You can see how you can search here. For this you can ask various questions. For instance, you can ask for relationship between different concepts or different variables. Besides, you can ask about yes or no type questions. In addition, you can ask about any particular concept which you want to understand. See here a few examples are given. Now let's begin asking our concerns or concepts. I am asking about. Does technology integration improve students' learning outcome? Then click enter wait for a while to see the results. It is processing now. 
you can see. This AI has identified numerous articles, you can see the titles here. Now we will explore it further one by one. The very first article it's a systematic review. And the second article is also systematic review, and this has been cited many times. By clicking this will open the entire article you can see the abstract here. So this is the conclusion of the paper. And this is the entire abstract. You can read it from here or if If you want to access the paper you can click here. Similarly, you can see various others academic papers you can click and explore each one of these. By clicking here, you will get the summary and here you can check the level of agreement of these papers, for instance, 75% of the articles says yes technology improves student learning outcome, and only 12% says possibly but not sure. Besides, 12% says no technology do not improve students' learning outcomes. So this is the summary you can see and it can be used in literature review. In a nutshell, this free AI can be used to write literature review by accessing numerous articles and getting the summaries in single click. This AI will assist in boosting your academic work and the good thing is it's completely free to use. Don't skip the video stay till last. AI tool number 4. Open your Google Chrome and type illicit.org. Click the very first link. This will land you to the official page. Now click login and use your Gmail account to sign in. Boom, I am in now. Here you can see you can ask any question about the topic around which you are looking for article or literature. So, the same question I am typing. Does technology integration improve student learning outcome? And see what the results are click search, it will take few seconds to process and see it has found various articles around the topic. You can explore these one by one. On the left side, the articles on the right side you can see the summaries are given. For instance, this is the article and it's the summary of the article you can read it. Besides you can scroll down and you can see other articles as well. These are the other articles you can explore this one by one. By clicking here you will see this and here you can see the summary of four academic papers. This is very defascinating as you can see this is the result of the first four academic paper and by scrolling down you can see the other as well. So this is summary of the first four article which can be used in academic literature review directly. Let's explore few more features. By clicking here you will get information about the participants so where you can see different number of research participants participated in the research. Besides you can click and access for more information like it was intervention-based study. In addition, you can check the summary and all these things. So this AI can also be used for improving your literature review section since it gives a very brief summary of different articles, and it also gives summary of various articles together. So, in a nutshell, this can also be used to improve your academic research. AI tool number 5. Open your web browser and type site AI. Various links will be available but you have to click the first link in order to access this AI tool. By clicking you will land on the official page of this AI tool. Now you can see that, we can ask various questions. For instance, we can ask simple questions and we can get full text of millions research articles. Besides, this AI can be used to write simple blog essays and grant proposals. Moreover, this AI can also be used to explain the given paragraph and support the paragraph with various literature. First of all, let's log in this AI tool. For that I will click login. And then I will use my Gmail account. Let me choose my Gmail account. And put my information. 
here you go. You can see that I have logged in, now in this search bar we will be typing our question. So, let's suppose, I am asking to write a literature review around technology as tool to improve students' learning outcome. I just want this AI to write literature review around this topic. Once I am done with the typing, then I will click here. Then we have to wait for a while, this will take a few seconds. Once this is done the result will be shown on the same screen. Now you can see that this AI has brought this result. So, let's explore this further, so on the left side the entire manuscript can be seen which this AI has generated in single click. And on the right side reference is provided. So, if this entire piece of manuscript talks about various contributing factors. For instance, technology improves academic and social integration. Besides, numerous in-text citation sources can be seen. And this piece is well articulated. At the end the concluding sentence can be seen, where the summary of these articles have been given. In order to read more or go into deeper of any particular article we just have to click the in-text citation. So by clicking here you can access the full article. Well see this is the article and its full abstract. If you want to access the full article then you have to click view full text this will lead you to the journal where this article has been published. So, this is the journal where this article has been published. It's very well known journal, Springer. Now we will go back and we will explore this AI further. So don't skip the video important part ahead to discuss. Let's explore this particular article more. Here you can see that, this article has been cited in 313 various publications. Besides, this has been referenced in 37 different articles. Moreover, reference statement can be seen, as this article has been cited 105 times numerous articles. So, in a nutshell this, AI is so powerful and be used as research assistance. Let's explore further, and this time I am asking this AI to. Let's suppose I am interested to know more about the other contributing factors which actually contributes positively or negatively in students' learning outcome. So, I will type my concern in the given space. Then we have to wait for a while, and this AI will process around our typed question. So, here we go. This is the manuscript this AI has brought forth. You can see this has mentioned various contributing factors like test competence it significantly associates with academic performance. Besides, in other studies satisfaction with online learning has been identified as one of the contributing factors. Similarly, various other articles and their findings has been mentioned in this manuscript. This is very well written AI content. By the end of this text you will be able to find a summary of these various articles. And in case if you want to access the full article you will follow this process as discussed earlier. Similarly, you can copy the reference by just clicking here. Having said that, you can export this reference as well in various format. So, in this way you can use this AI tool for various purposes including auto manuscript generation and many more. AI tool number 6. Open your web browser and type SciSpace. Then you will get various links. From the top click the second link, you are not supposed to click the very first link. Once you click the second link this will lead you to the official page of this free AI tool. This free AI has been particularly created for research assistance. So let me log in first. And for that I am using my existing Gmail account, you can follow the same process. Let me input my information. And boom!
you can type your own question around which you are looking for literature. So let me ask about the contributing factors of mathematics achievement. Once you are done with typing then press enter. Boom! You can see that this AI has found various research articles around our typed question. Here you can see as I am scrolling up and down. At the top, this AI has written insights from the five top papers. It means that this part can directly be used while writing our literature around the tropic. So actually, this is the summary of top five papers around our topic of interest. Now let me scroll down, here you can see that information pertaining to individual article is given, like insights. conclusions and many more. You can see that this is the conclusion of this research paper in very few words. Moreover, by scrolling down you can read the conclusion of various papers. Using this you can develop your own literature review. If you want to go more deeper into individual paper just click here. By clicking the entire article will open. So, you can see that on the left side the entire article is opened and on the right side there is a space where we can type our questions or there are various pre-existing questions which we can use to ask about this particular research paper. So let me use this feature. So, let me use the pre-existing question. And I would like to know about abstract of this paper. So, by clicking this AI will automatically explain the abstract of this paper in very few lines. Here you can see it. Similarly, you can use other predefined questions to learn more about this particular article. And you can see that it also provides information about references, and more importantly relevant articles to this paper. In the same way these can be accessed by just... Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of free AI tools for literature review. We hope you've discovered some valuable resources to enhance your research endeavors. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, we would love to hear your thoughts and suggestions, so drop a comment below. Please consider giving it a thumbs up, sharing it with your peers, and subscribing to our channel for more insightful content like this. Stay tuned for upcoming videos, as we continue to explore exciting topics together.